What are some of the common mistakes in going solar in 2023? In this video, we're going to be answering that question and going over the top five common mistakes in going solar. Hey there, I'm Allie, and welcome back to the Solar Surge channel. If you're new to the channel, this is where we dive into the world of renewable energy. Today, we have an exciting topic to discuss. The top five mistakes people make when converting to solar energy. So if you're thinking about harnessing the power of the sun, make sure to watch this video in full till the end as we guide you through the pitfalls you should avoid. Let's get started. Mistake number one, neglecting energy efficiency. One of the biggest mistakes people make when going solar is not focusing on energy efficiency. Remember, solar panels are an excellent way to generate clean energy, but they won't make up for the wasteful habits. So before you install solar panels, assess your energy consumption. Are there any appliances or systems that could be more energy efficient? Invest in LED light bulbs, energy saving appliances, and smart home technologies to reduce your overall energy usage. By addressing energy efficiency first, you'll optimize your solar investment. Mistake number two, incorrect system sizing. I can't tell you how many people I've talked to who they went solar and now they're calling us because their system size wasn't big enough and they still have an electric bill, they're confused, why do I still have this electric bill? I went solar. So it's very important beforehand to make sure that you are actually determining the right size of the solar system for your needs. Installing an undersized system may not generate enough electricity, leaving you dependent on the grid still. On the other hand, an oversized system could be unnecessarily expensive and may take longer to recoup your investment. So you wanna make sure that you are consulting with a reputable contractor in solar or use online tools to calculate your energy needs accurately. Consider factors such as your average electricity consumption, available roof space, and local weather conditions, as well as any shading impact on your roof from any surrounding trees or buildings, nearby buildings or homes, things like that. So that way you're able to accurately predict and forecast how much energy will be produced. Mistake number three, ignoring the fine print. Before you sign any solar paperwork, make sure to carefully read and understand the fine print. Many homeowners overlook important details like warranty terms, maintenance responsibilities, and financing options. So pay close attention to the length and coverage of the warranty provided by the manufacturer and the installer. Additionally, understand the maintenance requirements and costs associated with your solar system. Familiarize yourself with the financing options available, such as lease agreements, power purchase agreements, or outright purchase. Being well-informed will help you avoid surprises down the road. Mistake number four, poor roof conditions. So another common mistake is not considering the condition and orientation of your roof. Solar panels work best when they receive direct sunlight for a significant portion of the day. Evaluate your roof's condition to ensure it can support the weight of the panels and that there are no potential issues like leaks or structural weaknesses. Additionally, assess the orientation and shading of your roof. South-facing roofs with minimal shading are ideal for maximizing solar production. If your roof doesn't meet the necessary criteria, you may need to explore alternate mounting options, such as ground-mounted systems or community solar programs. Mistake number five, choosing the wrong contractor. Unfortunately, I see this way too often, and I talk to homeowners almost every single week who they went solar already, or they signed the paperwork and they're still waiting to go solar, and there's the various issues and hiccups that come along the way. So you will definitely wanna make sure that you're doing your due diligence and research into the contractor, making sure that they have good reviews, they're licensed, they have the certifications, and also a good contractor will provide you with a warranty and maintenance plan. Converting to solar energy is a great way to reduce your carbon footprint and save money on your energy bills. 
However, it is important to avoid these common mistakes to ensure a successful conversion. By calculating your energy needs, considering the roof orientation, checking local regulations, choosing the right contractor, all of these things will help you make an informed decision and enjoy the benefits of solar energy for years to come. If you're interested in getting help with this, please reach out to me. I'm happy to talk to you anytime. You can click the link below or call the number listed and we can set up a call to go over your goals and options for solar energy. So thanks again for watching this channel and I'll see you next time.